After all these years, Megan tells you you have a son? She was determined to raise Greg on her own. She did a pretty remarkable job. He's a fine young man. Well, I'm sure he is, but don't you think you should maybe do some research? Oh, he... Greg, uh, I was just informing Eden about the news about us. Uh, Ellie did not tell her anything about oh, it. Oh, that doesn't surprise me one bit. What makes you say that? She probably didn't want to ruin your vacation. Maybe you shouldn't be so quick to judge everybody's reaction. They didn't waste any time judging me. Greg. Maybe that's because we don't know how to react to having a brother so instantaneously. Maybe you should give us a little time to let it sink in. Jump, Eden. Don't jump to any conclusions before you... Uh... Eden, uh, um, welcome home. Thank you, Megan. She just got the bomb dropped on her, Mom. I'm going out. Uh, don't forget our dinner tonight at 7. I won't. It's okay if I bring a date, isn't it? Emily? Is that a problem? Well, yes, I wanted this dinner to be kind of just for family. Can't you see her tomorrow night? I already made plans to be with her tonight. I'm sure if you explain it, I'm you not explaining understand. anything. I made a date with her. I'm not breaking it. I'm sorry about your big dinner. Greg! Well, I handled that as well as usual, didn't I? Greg tends to take his commitment seriously. Well, maybe if he explained it to Emily, she would understand this situation. Maybe he'll change his mind. Eden, I'm sorry that you've had to come home to all of this. No, it's fascinating stuff. Stuff of romance novels. Only this is fact. It's not fiction. Yeah, so you say. I've got to get back to the kids. I'll see you at 7. I assume you'll be here as well, Megan. Honey. Well, yet another member of your family who's just thrilled to have me around. She'll get used to the idea, darling. She's very protective of her mother. Even though the marriage is over, it's very difficult even to let go. Maybe I should skip this dinner. Absolutely not. You know what? I should be getting back to the book. I mean, ever since you found out about Greg, I... It's like we've left the book on hold. I'll tell you something that's very odd. When we started writing this book, I thought I was wrapping up my life. And you gave... Greg came into my life and it's like starting all over again. Are you saying you don't want to finish the book? Absolutely not. I'll start first thing in the morning if you'd like to. Good. Because I want to get back to the business aspects of your life. That's a whole book in itself. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so set against Greg bringing Emily tonight? She's a nice girl. I know that. Well, you understand it, dinner. Wait a minute. I don't like the sound of this. What do you have planned? A surprise. One I hope you're going to like. 